that's what's interesting about the industry is not every vehicle is the same. So you get all these different types of vehicles, different construction, and you introduce something at the OEM level, such as the aramid cord fiber on the belt. And you have this very quiet, uh, nice riding vehicle that goes 30, 40,000 miles and then suddenly goes in for service, gets a new belt installed, and they don't use the same construction. Now they have a vibration issue or noise and that customer might actually come back to the service rider and say, you just changed the belt on my car and now it makes noise. Now I feel it in the car. The service rider might not even be aware that simply using the wrong construction belt might make a difference in this, in this application. Not on every vehicle, but some vehicles, uh, you'll see the vibration, you'll hear the vibration, uh, because there, there are certain vehicles that are just quieter than others and the application-specific drive uh, makes it necessary to keep that same construction uh, as the OEM level. You know, the smaller engines have to run at higher RPMs to run the different transmissions that they have. Some of the transmissions have nine speeds in them now, so they're constantly varying their, their RPMs, and so you'll hear um, more range of the vehicle as it goes through its motions. And if you have a, a belt that has the wrong construction that's making more noise or vibrating more, the customer now is more sensitive to that because they're used to the OE construction and the quietness of the car since they've been driving it for the first uh, year or two. Yeah, because the less vibration you have in the drive, the more smooth and fluid the operation of the engine will be. And that, of course, uh, puts pressure uh, on the accessories if it's vibrating and puts more load and wear on it as well and will affect gas mileage. And that's the funny thing, most people wouldn't think that a diesel application uh, would ever be susceptible to hearing that type of noise or feeling that vibration because they think diesels are noisy and vibration uh, prone and everything like that. But if you listen to some of the new diesels, they're very, very quiet. The lean burning technology, uh, the direct injection and the smaller uh, compact diesels make th those applications very susceptible to this type of noise and vibration. You know, I think it's outside of the normal um, reaction. When, when a customer says they feel a vibration in the car, they aren't automatically going to think about the belt drive. It's, it's a re-education process, and that's another thing I love about the industry, is it's constantly changing. There's constantly new technology that you need to be aware of. So educating technicians and service riders to know that a vibration issue felt in the floorboard or the steering wheel or the brake pedal could actually be coming from a belt drive is very important, and that's one of the things we need to get the message out about. Well, the OEs have started the trend because uh, they're constantly looking for new reasons to increase fuel economy, uh, looking for a quieter application, looking for a smaller engine that will do the job of a larger one. And as these vehicles become more high-tech and they become um, better at fuel economy and they're quieter, this is, this is going to be an issue ongoing with new vehicles. Well, I've been a master technician for over 20 years. And uh, of course, I started working on cars long before that when I was on the farm and, and as a, a, a kid growing up just as a hobby. And I've continued that. So probably 24, 25 years that I've been active in the industry uh, doing this. The noise and vibration issues never really used to be an issue. But we started seeing it with tires. We started seeing it with uh, different switches inside the car. As the cars became more quiet, uh, customers started listening and hearing noises, and they started uh, hearing things as subtle as rattling uh, power window switches. The engineers had to go back and correct it. Tires that made noise that people would never hear before, suddenly they had to, to increase the technology, they had to change the size of the tread and variegate it so that it would uh, break up the harmonics as it rolled down the road. And we see the same thing in the belts now. Different construction, vibrations, different things like that is making an impact in today's vehicles. You know, as far as seeing uh, this in other uh, manufacturers, other belt manufacturers, I really don't see them keeping up with the technology. So no, I, I haven't seen them do this. Not always. 
First of all, it's very hard to see some of the belt drives. Um, you may not be able to perceive it with your visual eyes as maybe through a strobe light or through uh, some other equipment where you'll see the vibration. The installation process for the belt is exactly the same as any other belt you would install. Uh, it's the same, moving the tensioner, relieving the tensioner on the drive, inspecting the tensioner, making sure that it also uh, may need replaced, and then replacing the belt as well. Thank you.